why is every QA automation job asking for a CI CD? Because we are the whole point of CI CD. The reason CI CD happens is because of QA automation engineers, because our automation is part of CI CD. Here, what you see on the screen is a sample CI CD pipeline, continuous delivery, continuous integration, or the other way around. So when we look at a CI CD pipeline, a bunch of things happen, then in the middle of the CI CD, there is tests, front end tests, back end tests, right? And who writes those? Automation engineers, us. We write it, right? Software engineer in test, testers. Anybody that's writing the automation job or the automation script is the one that's writing the test. So we really play a major role in the CI CD. So we have to understand CI CD. If something goes wrong, we need to be able to go maintain it. We need to be able to go figure out not just the test itself, but the CI CD. How do we fix the CI CD? So that's why every job that I see for automation engineer, they want to know if we know about CI CD. The screenshot you see here, this is CI CD in GitHub, GitHub Actions. I'll create more videos about that. But in short, part of CI CD, the main reason it actually makes it happen is automation. If there's no automation, there's no continuous delivery. The reason there is continuous delivery is they rely on automation. Developer writes code, new code, make sure other things don't break. And the way we make sure other things don't break is with regression. It's called regression testing. And our automation is part of the pipeline. If the automation passes, the continuous delivery happens the code gets delivered only if the automation passes so that's why you hear that ci cd is extremely important and that's why i put it into my uh, eight state process to become a qa automation engineer right i create an eight state process and one of the last steps is learning ci cd and there's a lot of different tools for ci cd